do first. Now I'm trying to decide. All right, I think we're gonna do this one right here. So, cause I love the soft, beautiful colors, the, the polka dots on here, right? These kind of airy bubbles almost, right? So then, then I love this stamp set too, the thinking of you always, right? So this is one of those fun, fold oops it kind of popped open there right so a fun fold love doing these funk fold cards right so again i will have the measurements um how to um, cut and score everything on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon after the live okay so this is the stamp set we used the field of flowers stamp set right so there's your always and you can kind of build your fun sentiments we didn't even use any of these pretty flowers but i'm excited to do that to use those very soon right and actually, let me show you again. So here are all of the different um, patterns, right, in the playing with patterns. And it's a six by six piece, pieces of designer series paper. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's 12 because you get all of those. Again, those are the coordinating colors. And then here is the other half of them, right? So front and back of each of these things. Um, and then the coordinating cardstock colors right there too. So awesome pack. So we are using which one? We're using this one right here on this card and then I'll show you when we go to do the next one which ones we're using on that as well, okay? So let me grab everything out here. Okay. I think we have everything, yep. All right, so let's do our stamping. I'm gonna put that right up there. So I, no, you know what? I'm going to give you measurements first while I'm thinking about that. Okay, so this is a piece of purple posy cardstock. This is our card base that measures five and a half by seven and three quarters. And then I scored it at one and three quarter and six inches. And then that's how we're just going to fold those babies in like that. And it's like a little gate fold almost card there, right? Then we have two pieces of, this is the Whisper White cardstock that fits right on each of those little panels there that measures one and a half by five and a quarter inches. And then our pretty, look at all the bubbles, the designer series paper. And then this is the back side, kind of crazy on the back side. So two pieces of designer series paper that measure one and a quarter by five inches, okay? And actually this piece goes on the inside right here. This is my standard four by five and a quarter piece that we layer all the time inside of our cards, right? So that's what kind of finishes it and makes it look nice inside there. And then I just have some scraps of Whisper White, Purple Posy, and Calypso Coral, because of course those are the colors, right? You can see the beauty right there of Stampin' Up, right? That all of our cardstock and ink and designer series paper and ribbon, everything coordinates so beautifully, right? Okay, so let's do, and actually, I usually do my stamping and then die cutting, but because this is so tight on here, I actually die cut this first and then did the stamping on it. So let's do our die cutting of all of those things right now. We used a couple of different die sets here, so let me show you what we've got. <laughs> we are using my most favorite, I think, this die, I'm probably gonna have to get another set of them because I use this one so much. <laughs> this little spriggy guy. If you don't use any of the other dies in the sunflower dies, this is the one I have used on so, so, so many projects. You guys are probably like, is she ever gonna stop using that? <laughs> but I love it. There's just something about, just whenever you think, oh, it just needs a little something else. This little guy is the answer to, ooh, it just needs a little something else. Okay, stitched shape dies. We're gonna use the oval, the second largest oval is what we're using on our Whisper White cardstock. So we're gonna put that right there, right? All of a sudden I'm like, is that the right size? Yes, it is. Okay, and then my other most favorite set of dies, the Tasteful Touches, right? Is that it? Tasteful Labels dies, yep. And we are gonna use this big baby right here on our Purple Posy. <laughs> yes, they do, don't they? That's right, Vina. Very delicate, the polka dots do. And it's just kind of soft and washed looking too, I think. Okay, so let's get these guys cut here. And, okay, we'll go back through. Sorry, that is seriously wiggling, isn't it? Okay. So there's that one. You guys have seen that a million times, right? This is the one though that I love because look at, 
Can you see the detail, that little etching on there? And then I just love the shape of it too, okay? And then my other, can't stop making it. So this little guy, and he, um, I've used him so much, basically I think I need to fling it around in order to get it out at this point. So hold on, let's do that, ready? Yes, it did, it kind of loosened it anyway. Do it one more time, there we go. So there's that one. Okay, we're just gonna scoop those things all right there. Where's the other one? I don't know, it's around here somewhere. We'll find it later. Okay, so now let's do our stamping, right? So we've got our Calypso Coral ink pad. And I found it was easiest to stamp the always first. So we're going to do that always because you can see how it barely fits on here. Okay. And then we've got our thinking of you and the photopolymer makes it easy to line everything up. Here we go. Thinking of you always. Isn't that lovely? Who wouldn't want to receive a card that said, had that sentiment on it, right? Okay. All right. I think we can kind of start putting things together here. Let me find, oh, ladies, I have been using the new stamp and seal, having lots of fun with this. I actually just ran out of um, snail refills at home. I think I have some at the studio, although now I'm not sure. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I'm going to have to break into my stamp and seal, which has been fun to play with. So it, it runs so nice and easy. So we are going to add this piece to the inside of our card, first of all. We'll get that one done. Love this purple posy color. So pretty, pretty, right? Okay, so then those are there. All right, next we're gonna add our Whisper White cardstock. Okay, oops. Oh, and you know what? I think um, I probably press harder. That was one of the things that I've kind of learned is if you press hard, not so good. You need to have a little bit lighter touch with your stamp and seal than maybe you do, you know, when you're applying the adhesive. So something to kind of keep in mind. If ever um, it kind of breaks off and there, it's not sticky right here, you just advance it forward, actually this way. Nope, this way. <laughs> Let me think about that. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. There we go. Just advance it forward a little bit and you are good to go. Okay, so let's, did I not do it right? Yeah, I feel it. There we go. It's just so, um, it's almost more like delicate, like when it rolls. And maybe because it doesn't make that chick, chick, chick noise. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm still getting a little bit used to it. So, okay, so we're going to put this one right on there. And then we'll flip this one around and we'll do this side. There we go. All right. Where is, let's find, we've got our, we're gonna put a dimensional. So I just put one right on, right about there, basically, because I want it to, actually, let's see, which, which I want that on top, I think, right? So we're gonna do right about there, right? And these will lay down better once you kind of put there, okay. So we're gonna add our little spriggy guy, if I can get my fingers onto him. We're just gonna kind of put him right about there. Then we're gonna add a couple more dimensionals on the back of this little baby. Right, pop that, always thinking of you. And then last step, I thought this was perfect. This really kind of light, airy polka dot -y worked really nicely with the polka dots. You guys have all seen this ribbon. Thank goodness it carried over yet again. I think we've had this for a couple of years now, but I still love this white polka dot tulle ribbon. So let's see, we're gonna make our pretty bow. It catches a little bit, that's the one thing with the tulle, um, but it also makes it easy to make pretty bows too, but it kind of catches on itself as you're uh, working with it. All right, actually let me snip this little baby off right there. And then we'll do that one maybe about there. And we're gonna pop a glue dot on. Well, hello, Miss Kathy, how are you doing? So glad you can be here. I know, uh, Philomena, aren't you so happy that it carried over again too? Yes, it just, it's so, like I said, light and airy and delicate and perfect 
for the other polka dots, right? It just works really well. So thinking of you always, love, love, love that sentiment, right? And I love this card too. And then you have lots of room. You could stamp something on the inside there too, um, if you would like. Or what was fun was I received a card like this a couple of years ago and I have held onto it because I love the um, layout of it. Yes, good morning, Miss Kathy. Um, and what was fun about it was how she wrote on it on the inside. She actually wrote right here and right here. So it kind of kept the beauty of the card too. So she didn't write right in the middle. So you couldn't even see, um, see it, you know, until you opened it. And then, like I said, she wrote there and there. So that was kind of fun sideways, right? So I think she wrote Dear Amy and then whatever she wrote and then ended down at the bottom. So you can still write nicely in this card too and, and kind of keep the beauty of it with that little white peeking out behind there. So thank you guys. I know. I thought that was really fun too. And it's just, it's all about that paper. So you could do, if you wanted to do something more fun and funky, you could do any of these other patterns. Like I said, that's the one we use there, but you could really use about any of these patterns just because it's just a little bit, you know, some of these are pretty bold, right? Like this guy's pretty bold, but you're just going to use a little panel of it there too. So, all right. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. All right. Let's scoot this one out of the way.